Hey everyone. Now, yes, I'm gonna go through Slab City. Now, look, I, um, I don't know how this video is gonna fit into my regular videos chronologically. Uh, I just, I'm going right past it. There's no reason not to check out the Salton Sea and Slab City again uh, en route to Quartzsite. So that's what I'm doing. I have to get down to Yuma and then come up to Quartzsite. So I'm just letting you know, I feel like it'd be a waste not to at least drive through and show you guys what it looks like a year later. Also, the great thing about it is not a single soul in the world knows that I'm going to be there, that I'm on my way there. So that gives me the opportunity to not really avoid, you know, a lot of problems that I had last year, right? So as soon as my uh, file is done exporting here, I will get on the road and I'll cut back in when we get to the Salton Sea here. the wind is let up here so here we go there's the Salton Sea out there awesome not necessarily pretty or gorgeous or anything but I got to get back on the road because I want to get to Slab City before the sun sets and it gets dark so we'll empty my tanks we'll head out of here and then uh, get on the road okay guys I'm gonna kind of drive through here and I'll probably narrate a little bit. I don't have any plans of getting out of the vehicle this time. Um, many of you have been with me since last year. Uh, I did spend an entire month down here in Slav City in the month of December last year documenting all of my experiences of Slav City and going in depth. Um, I will put a link to the very first video from last year and if you turn on autoplay or look at my playlist, you can just go through all 30 or so videos. And uh, there's a lot of information in there if you're interested in more. But this is just going to be kind of a, a catch-up tour here as I come back through just to see. I mean, eventually this place is going to get shut down. I mean, it's just a matter of time before something happens and, you know, Slab City is no more. It's, uh, it's kind of inevitable. So, you know, figured I'd at least stroll through one last time. This little welcome sign up here has been repainted since last year. It says Slab City, the last free place, almost there. I will talk about a little bit of the history. Uh, so Slab City uh, used to be a military base here. And there's naked people over there. You should be happy that you can't see them because there's a bunch of naked people over there. Standing there, just being naked. Oh, there's a hot spring over there. That's why so they're in a hot tub. But anyway, they uh, the military base shut down, and then um, basically what you've got is just RV squatters. All of the buildings were torn down, so all that's left is the concrete slabs. Thus, Slab City. There, the Imperial County does patrol this area, so there are police, there's fire, there's medical, there's ambulance. There are services. UPS and FedEx come out here and deliver mail. Phone service uh, is another thing I wanted to check. AT&T and Verizon both have full bars and LTE service out here in the desert. And last year I had Sprint, which was the same way. Well, not full bars, but Sprint LTE out here as well. Just for future reference here in 2016, yes. Phone service and internet Wi-Fi is great. That was how I uploaded all of my videos last year from here was with my Sprint prepaid hotspot internet. I'm going to pull in here to Salvation Mountain here. Just kind of roll through. Like I said, um, I think I have a whole video dedicated to this place going in the tour and looking at all the art, but it's the first big thing that you will see when you first enter into Slab City. It's a very colorful mountain. Yeah. 
Slab City holds a lot of art, but in my opinion, Slab City holds a lot of people that, never mind, I'm not even going to finish that statement. It's Slab City. Uh, experience it for yourself if you'd like to. So you've got RVs just scattered everywhere out here in the desert. Here's another welcoming sign, Slab City Welcome. And this sign looks exactly how I remember it. Slab City Information Kiosk, which is just a box sitting there. than it was last year for me. Ooh, Here's the range. They have uh, outdoor live music get-togethers here. I just, I want to get up here and look at my spot from last year. Just check it out this year. Huh. I feel like I gotta show this for Mike and Wanderlust Estate, living free in Wanderlust Estate, make sure they can see nobody is in our spot here. Wow. <laughs> Here's my spot right here. This is where I park. Mike's old spot. Well, there you go. I don't know. That's that's my Slab City tour. Uh, again, I will put the link one more time at the bottom here. You can click that. That'll that'll take you to my first Slab City arrival day, and you can. Rewatch or watch for the first time the entire month that I spent living out here in the desert. I've got other plans this year. I could certainly stay here at night if I wanted to, but there's absolutely no appeal here. And the only reason I even came through is because nobody expected me to be here and I wouldn't be bothered or hassled. So, so we move on. I'm going to go south and find a place to boondock. It still may be a desert area that I choose, but it won't be Slab City, so there you go. I gotta say hi to Bob, is he even gonna recognize me? <laughs> At least I finally recognize somebody here. How you doing, bud? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just rolling through. I wanna check it out and see what it looks like here. And All right, bud. Take care. You too. Hey guys, Jack's here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. We got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later.